Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. I hope you guys are staying home, staying safe. I know it's a very very hard time at the moment but you know we just have to make do with what we have and hopefully hopefully this summer will be as normal and as fantastic as any other year. So yeah so let's get started um today you must be thinking why is she looking so ghastly it's only because i have got my foundation on i've got my concealer on uh, my eyebrows are done and my bronzer and blush the only two things that i don't have are my eyes and my lipstick so that's exactly what we will be doing so yeah let's get into this so obviously we can't really go into stores and we can't really shop but uh, I am an avid online shopper, I have to agree, and I usually did my shopping online anyway. So to be honest, like this lockdown is, I mean, it's hard that you can't go into shops, you can't meet anyone, but in terms of buying stuff, nothing stopped me which is bad you know it's really really bad and now that we literally can't go into shops anyway i'm buying everything online um isn't isn't ideal because i mean who's saving money i literally am saving no money whatsoever so if you are please please just drop down some tips for me because god knows i need them anyway um okay so uh, in my in my one of my adventures online I saw that Tarte had a really good sale on so I did some of some snooping around and I got myself um, two things from Tarte so I got palette, eye palettes and a bunch of lipsticks so these are the two things that I got from Tarte so these are three palettes they are called Lil Bloom, Lil Juicy and Lil Toasty Lil Toasted they look so beautiful and then I got a pack of these lipsticks now I have tried one lipstick on I'm not gonna lie and uh, the only reason why I tried it is because I was looking for a lipstick um, for one of my zoom meetings um, and it was just right there and I was running late so I just picked it up and I put it on my, on my lips without thinking and then I thought oh shit I was saving this but uh, the good thing is that I was very pleasantly surprised. Sorry if I'm making so much noise. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised. These are, they smell like vanilla. Um, and I absolutely loved it. So I am very, very excited to see if the other colors are exactly like that, if they are in fact as good as the other, as the one that I tried. So yeah, I, I mean, it looks promising. Anyway, so to the eyes, this is what we are working with. So this is Lil Juicy. This is Lil Toasted, and this is Lil Bloom. Um, now, all of these, I am guessing, are, they're not exactly the same, uh, but if you have seen my videos um, ever, <laughs> you will know that I usually wear um, warm colors only because I've got brown eyes. Um, that doesn't mean that I don't try cooler tones, I do, but I tend to gravitate towards um, cooler tones. So, um, we will use one of these today. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but for some reason, I am liking this one. This is the little toasted one, the one with the, the okay. I mean, can we just take a second and appreciate the beautifulness of these palettes i mean they are they're not very small they are big but they're quite thin so i'm guessing they should be okay for traveling i mean actually who's traveling these days anyway so it doesn't really matter to hell with that um but i'm just thinking like they are they've got nine colors each um all the colors are different um one is like a slightly more light toned one's more pinky and one's more brown so the one that i like the most so far is this one only by looking at them i haven't swatched them um, so this is called a little toasty and now i'm not sure if the name so they do have names on the back which is nice i'm not sure what the names of the on the back are exactly the ones here so okay yeah so it looks like they are exactly what they are um, yes, this is Lil Toasted, uh, nine colors. So we've got Flicker Sparks bundled up, uh, and then Blaze Flame Warmth, and then Embers Cozy and Heat Wave. Um, 
it could be the other way around do you think do you think this could be this one could be heat wave and this one embers who knows okay so this is a little juicy this is slightly more adventurous uh, it's got maroons and pinks in it um, but it does have some really really beautiful glittery ones um, and for these ones dream chaser orchid flourishing rose exotic precious um, tiger lily whimsical and mother nature third one which is called little bloom is what it looks like so beautiful i have to say though the colors in the little juicy are the pinky purpley ones so i was guessing this would be like the top of it what do you think and these ones are like slightly neutral so the little juicy packaging like the, this light pink one should be on this one hmm i wonder if that's just me or i don't know anyway so Lil Bloom, um, these are the colours. So we have um, <clears throat> Funny Girl, Sweetheart, Firecracker, um, Risk Taker, Explorer, Party Girl, Artist, Adventure and Individual. Um, because I like doing, because I like doing um, warmer colours and like orangey and reds, um, that's exactly what we are going to do today. So i'll be using this and i think it's a more like an autumnal wintry color anyway so um yeah so let's see how we get on um i will zoom you in and then we'll get started okay so we are nice and zoomed in right so to start off with let's start with something um let's start with something neutral so the only neutral color that i have seen that i haven't thought of this look whatsoever so please bear with me um, let's just start with this as a base so this is buddled up so it's like a oh it's like a cool base just for all over the lid I think for just such a light color this is really nice like you can absolutely see it even though it's so so light uh, then um, the brush I'm using is a real techniques brush and this is called the base shadow brush one of my favorites these days take this color here which is called warmth it's either warmth or blaze I honestly don't know oh a bit of a kick off but <clears throat> that's expected so let's start building that up you know what the thing is it's blending in like a dream and i hardly swatch like i hardly put my brush into the powder and that has just blended in beautifully go in with this color over here which is called blaze so I'm sticking to the same line and adding that slowly in the corner here. And over here, I want to use this dark one here, which is called Heat Wave. either called heat wave or amber use that just here and in the right in the corner now I'm leaving the rest of the eye bare for now for a reason uh, and we will definitely add something there but I want to become make it like really glittery and beautiful um, now I'm just going to take a little bit of this color again so this was um, blaze and add that slightly over here um, okay I'm happy with that for now and then on the center of my eyes I want to use this middle color here which is called flame 
so beautiful. Just using my finger. I thought this would be a slightly shimmery color. It's not as much, um, but I do want to add something to it. So I'm just going to add this on top. This is called Sparks. What I've noticed is the colors that you, like the, um, the shimmery colors, and this is so lovely, my God. The shimmery colors are usually the best used with your finger. Yeah, okay, I like that, I really like that. Um, I mean, I have to say, the colors in here are beautiful. They're very easy to work with, like just beautiful to um, blend with and everything. Just going to take a fluffy brush and some of my face powder. Just clean that up a bit in case there is any fall. Uh, not a lot of um, shadow fall whatsoever. So, okay. Now, what I will do is I will do my second eye, finish my eyes completely, and then we'll come back to see the lips. Okay, so I'm back with my eyes completed. I will zoom you in and show you what they are looking like. Um, so what I have done is just put mascara on and then on the bottom side of my lashes I just used <clears throat> um, so this color which I had in between and then um, just added a tiny tiny bit of this dark color um, in my waterline with a very small brush um, it's a very stupid thing to do but I didn't want to put pencil in so I just used that instead just to give my eyes a bit of definition and then in my inner corners I added the same gold color that I have added on the middle there and that is done with my eyes um, and obviously I curled my eyelashes and did my mascara Please ignore my hideous, hideous eyebrows. They are very untamed. Zoom you out again and start the lipsticks. Right, so these are a pack of five beautiful lipsticks, like so, lovely. Um, and they range uh, from like a brownish color to pinky, purple, and red. I have to say the colors they've chosen are really clever because I think if you've got these five, then you're covered for any and every kind of look. A large part of um, the whole color spectrum, I think. So if like you, if you want a nude one, there's a nude one, there's a red one, there's a purple one, there's a pink one, there's an orange one, and there's like a really dark plum one. So um, let's start with uh, the swatches first. I just want to put on my lip liner. So this is a MAC lip liner. I think it's a limited edition one if I'm not wrong. Um, and this is called hodgepodge it's one of my it's now has become one of my favorites after morning coffee so the morning coffee in my opinion is slightly more warm toned this is a bit cooler um i you do if you've like i said if you've been watching my uh videos for a while you'll know that i own i always wear lip liner with my, all my lipsticks and they are usually brown so um sometimes lipstick can look a bit dark on my lips um but that's obviously just because of me and and not the fault of the lip uh lipstick anyway so um i will do swatches on my hands first and then we'll decide which one we want to go for with the look that we have on at the moment so um this is the most darkest one this is called illy and this is what it looks like can we just appreciate how beautiful these lipstick covers are like gold and pink um, the body's pink and the lip cover like the cover is light pink with dark pink lips on it um, and the lips on the on the actual lipstick are gold it's absolutely beautiful so this is like a really dark vampy purple color it's absolutely beautiful and I think for the autumn and winter colors if you want to go like really bold with just like plain eyes with like a winged liner this would be absolutely beautiful the next one we have is called strong this is what it looks like so it's like a really um like a really pure pink color um sometimes um now this is what um strong looks like like i said like a really candy floss a barbie pink color but it's so so beautiful oh um and the finish of these lipsticks 
they are matte but they're very lightweight matte so um, once you put them on your lips you don't really feel them as such they're very uh, lightweight and the one time that I did wear them um, they they held on like for the whole time even after drinking and eating so that's always a nice thing um, this one is called happy so I'm guessing like this is the red color of um, the whole collection yeah absolutely so it's more like I would say like a dark red color so on camera it looks very bright red but in real life it's actually like a maroon color so not as bright but like I would say a bit like a combination of dark pink and maroon the next one is called uplift and this is like the brownie the brownie shade of the collection again very very beautiful um, yeah this is definitely like a like a dark like a nude I think it would be nude for a darker skin skin tones but like a light like a slightly medium brown for um, lighter skin tones so this is what it looks like here it's so so beautiful I absolutely love it and the finish of these lipsticks are so nice like they're matte but they're not drying um, very comfortable to wear and they stay on on your lips for so so long it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous um, and this is the one that I've used before and this is called lovely um, now this is like I would say that the coral peach tone of the collection um, so this is like a, a fleshy peach color now again on camera this looks very dark but in real life it's like a very um, salmon pinch peach color very wearable so you can see all the colors on my hand there I think they have covered everything in all those colors like you've got the dark you've got the pink you've got red peach and brown I think it's a beautiful collection so I'm thinking since we've got like a a brownie theme going on I want to use uplift which is the brown of the lot oh my god so gorgeous they they smell really nice as well and they like the finish of them oh my goodness they are so I mean honestly guys you have to check them out what are they called what are they called they are called don't be mean behind the screen <laughs> That's really funny I forgot to tell you that so yeah it's um, the high performance naturals lip set called don't be mean behind the screen they come in a packet like this um, so if you can find them I definitely recommend I mean honestly it's this is just gorgeous if in case you're wondering what I've got on the rest of my face um, then I will put that in um, the description below so you can take a look and um, yeah yeah this is it guys this is me with the new makeup and a full face of makeup with uh, no way to go so <laughs> isn't that just lovely and it is absolutely chucking it down outside um, so not the best of weathers today unfortunately anyway we will make do I hope you guys have a lovely lovely day and I'll see you guys later bye